Welcome back, friends, to the zombie apocalypse. We're here again at our second camp. First camp is way back here. Look at how close we are now. Uh, I'm forgetting what I'm supposed to say. Uh, I'm supposed to say that I'm Juniver. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, we're back here playing some more Project Zomboid. And uh, yeah, it's 5 a.m., just slept the night away in our tent, as usual. Gonna run through here. Oh, yeah, we finally found a saw yesterday. How exciting is that? That is a big win. I'm a big fan of that. The uh, saw is pretty important. Just getting us prepped for the day. We got chips, we got crackers, we got a mushroom. I don't need two tea bags. We got a tea bag. All right, we're good to go. We got we got plenty of stuff. Oh, and we got cereal. We got we got all kinds of stuff here. Okay, go go in the backpack. So, what are we gonna do today? Uh, well, I'm really hoping that we can put a big dent in the population of the zombies that are at the main front door to the mall. I don't understand why the front door is so much more busy than the rest of the mall is. However, it is. And there's nothing I can do about that. I don't, I don't like it, but, you know, I don't really have any say in that. Zombies will go where the zombies will go. So, I really want to whittle that down. I think that it's our, our biggest task here towards cleaning the mall. There will be a big part of cleaning the mall coming up which is going door to door going through every single room making sure whoops I what am I doing I'm forgetting the controls it's okay I'm a really really good driver in real life that is true in the video game uh, that is not true what the what what did I hit that zombie Desync, dude. Desync. Anyway. Yeah, what was I saying? In the real world, I am I'm a phenomenal driver. I am quite a slow slow driver, but I'm very good at it. Some people say that they're a good driver and thus they can drive really fast and recklessly. I think that is the opposite true. If you're a good driver you know that driving fast and recklessly is a bad idea despite of what your skills are. Faster and reckless, more reckless you drive, other people are the problem. You know, your skills could be top notch, but it still makes you a bad driver to drive aggressively and drive fast because everybody else out there, you know, could be an amazing driver on a test road on a, on a closed loop track uh, but you put put the public out there so don't uh, don't drive don't drive poorly that's what this is uh, becoming a, uh, a message for my my number one rule of driving is I'm not in a hurry there's absolutely nothing in my life that is happening unless I am like unless I've severed an artery in my arm in which case I'm amazed that I'm actually managing to drive uh, unless I'm in the in the ho or on the way to the hospital or about to die or something along those lines there's nothing in the world that is important enough for me to drive too fast so oh my gosh look look guys the the game heard me. I was complaining yesterday about how there were all these light blue wedding dress brides in the mall, and 
how it's kind of weird that there are just so many brides in light blue wedding dresses in the mall in Kentucky. And now we found a white wedding dress bride in the mall. Not a blue one, a white one. And, wow, something sounds very no angry upstairs. And I want to say I saw another one further down the hallway. Could have been the same one, I suppose. Anyway. I complained yesterday. And so, the game is punishing me. Anyway, what are we doing today? We are uh, making progress. If you noticed earlier, I grabbed the machete. It's our last long blade weapon. I don't have any other machetes, and I don't have any other katanas. So, machete it is. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well. Um, excuse me. Uh, I, uh, I, I, um, sorry about this. I have to take this from you. All right, where were we? I was saying that I have no other katanas or machetes apart from this one here, um, and which is no longer true. That is that is amazing. That is amazing timing. A plus A plus plus plus. Great job, game. So yeah, we're just gonna keep going here. Can I see the can I see the entrance? Not really. As far as I can stretch. Oh. It's time. It's time to hear that fog and rain is in my future. What have you got for me today? So far, nothing. Okay. Automated broadcast system, blah, blah, blah. No power. Yes, I noticed. Order 724 has been issued. Okay. It's going to be fair today. Snowballs. Clear skies. Tomorrow, it's going to be a little bit warmer. That's nice. Dude, dude, I'm listening to the radio. You're disrupting me. All right, so light fog tomorrow. Temporary communications failure for northeast exclusion zone. I wonder what that means. Anyway. Pulled out the uh, shitty there. There's one, one, um, it's not really a downside or an oversight, but if you have something in your hands, and you, uh, you're, you're doing the thing that I do all the time, which is I have the machete on my back and the crowbar in my hands, and I use this mod, which is called Swap It. So I can go, I can switch between them very easily just by pressing the one. But that doesn't work if I, you know, if I equip the, uh, the radio, for example, which makes sense. It just, it makes sense. However, it is a bit annoying to then have to put the, the crowbar back in my hands. Sorry, you're going to have to wait. See, like in this situation, a cigarette doesn't actually make it so that my equipped item goes away. So I'm still holding the uh, crowbar. Anyway, it's just me nitpicking. It doesn't matter. The mod in the game does exactly what it should do, and I have no complaints here. Just being a little bit being a little bit wacky, which happens from time to time. All right, it's starting to get quiet. Still have a lot of zombies. All right, it's time. It is time. We're gonna get this job done. 
I don't want to rest. I don't want to do anything apart from eliminate the zombies. Oh, they're just falling from the sky again. Worried I'm going to have a whole bunch of them come barreling down these steps, or worse, these steps. Because I don't really have a good backup plan. If, let's say, 100 zombies showed up right here, I'd be in trouble. It wouldn't be huge trouble. I could probably work my way around it. The hallways here are wide enough. But it would certainly make me nervous. That's two two bunnies that came from upstairs. It's an interesting mall. Hey, nice. Level three. Long blade. Love to see it. Oh, I forgot to check how many uh, kills are we had with our katana. Oh, no, it still tells me. 482. That means that our second katana lasted for 252 kills, where the previous one lasted for 230. Average those out to, like, what, 240-ish? So, yeah, we can expect one katana to last for... About 240 zombies with the sample size of two. That's pretty good. Where are you? Must be upstairs. Should I go stand over here on the other side of the steps again so they can scare me? No, I can do that. All right, I need to eat something healthy. I have no healthy food. Okay, whatever. I give up. We're still 87 and falling though, so I guess it's fine. Okie dokie. We carry forward. Actually, let me poke my head in here. I haven't poked my head inside this store yet. Look at these plants. Ooh, the machete leveled up. Quick. It's probably attack speed. That's good. Extra attack speed is very good. I will never say no to additional attack speed. I'm not sure there's anything here that I really need. Those water barrels, though. I will come back for those water barrels. Hand axe? I have a bunch. We'll have to do, like, a thorough whole mall loot session. I'll probably take, like, a day and not record it and just loot everything once we finally clear it. Put it all in a bunch of boxes and leave it around. Just so I never have to go through it again. Nothing super, super special here. The only thing I'd be looking for is like a garden fork. Garden fork would be nice. Looks like nothing. No luck. Garden hoe. That's okay. So yeah, these water barrels, these are real water barrels. And look, this one already has water in it. That's pretty handy. It would be nice to establish an other, another exit. However, I don't know how many are in the hallway on the left and right of this door. And it's probably a lot of zombies out there on the road. I'm not sure I actually want to uh, pursue that particular exit. Oh, there's just an anchor of you fellas, ain't there? And more fallen from the second story. Yeah, I'm starting to get pretty confident that uh, the second story will end up being basically empty by the time we empty the rest of the mall. Two more. All right, we got a we got a good following here. We're gonna take a step back. We're actually gonna take our 
beta blockers. We should be okay without them. But... be extra safe. I'll do what I can. You know, you guys are coming at me from multiple angles. That's not okay. Something tells me that we're going to the street with this fight. There's an awful lot of them. This guy has a knife or something in his back. Ooh, should he leveled up? What did we get? Have to go to my main inventory to see it. Quick machete of activity. Of activity? Does that mean it's like even faster? I don't know. Activity. I could look it up, but I'm not gonna. We will, uh, we'll stay guessing as to what that could mean. Oops. It is pretty quick. Hello. This guy's brought some food for me, if we're lucky. Actually, if we're very lucky, he has another machete inside that backpack. That's where we found this one. Nope, it's empty. I guess that's what I get. That's okay. Oh, and we're actually getting exerted. It's okay. Take a quick breather. I think zombies are more likely to come from this direction. If any come at all. Which indeed they didn't. Alright, it's noon. I'm not going to lose complete total lack of time today. Yesterday, I definitely lost track of time a little bit. And it was like... 9.50 p.m. and I was like, oh, maybe we should leave. <laughs> but, you know, I wasn't wasn't drowsy, so... If you're not drowsy, you don't really have to leave. Especially now that we have a vehicle. Alright, no more... Nobody else from that side. It's much more important that we work our way closer to the, the front door here. Where did you come from? I was just over there. Well. Just slow and steady, work our way through it. I'll make some progress here. Alrighty, we're getting a little bit queasy, so we're going to back off here. The uh, sheer number of corpses in this hallway is insane. Uh, we've killed probably, I don't know, several hundred zombies through this way in the past couple of days. So 
They take three, three or four days to disappear. So, yeah, our character is not very happy about that. But fortunately, we can proceed with our task. I shouldn't do that there. There's too many blind spots. Um, we can proceed with our task on the other side of the mall. <laughs> we haven't been working over there for a while now, so... Yeah. Just go over there. There shouldn't be any zombies because... Uh, or any bodies because they've all decayed. Definitely hear a lot. More than just this one. They must be upstairs, because I don't see them on this level. Hmm. There's definitely still zombies upstairs. That's what that uh what that noise just told me, but we'll work our way back up here where it looks pretty clean. Should be okay. This goes up a level. Uh, we'll just go home for the day. Holy cow. There's still so many. Jeez. Right, this one found me. away from the fence. Eat a bag of chips. Do a little dance. Alright, so good. Requisi has cleared. Now we proceed with the clearing.
All right, friends, we are gonna call it a day just after I finish off this small group of zombies. We've been through an awful lot today. Made a lot of progress, and we've been getting quite ill. We're still only at Queasy, but the amount of corpses here in the mall is not healthy for our character. <laughs> To say the least, I can't imagine what this would smell like in real world. In the real world, to have hundreds, thousands of rotting zombie bodies just like strewn about. Although I suppose it would be the same as if they weren't strewn about, because they're still rotting even if they're alive. Anyway, uh, thanks, friends, for joining me here today. I'm gonna leave it here, even though this guy's following me. And, uh, yeah, I'm Juniper, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.